Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and I'm testing on public test server all the new stuff I was testing before but progress was reset and I'm back testing again and this is my favorite of the weapons we are getting soon will be available with in the game from December with Nuka on the tour, Nuka World on the tour update and you can think it's a little thing or it's a goofy thing it is not if you don't know if you miss my video about two shot broadsider that's one of my favorite weapon for many reasons you can check a full guide and i still have it in here that's what i was using two shot damage while aiming faster reload that is my god roll it is perfect it is as good as you can currently get in the game it does 900 damage which is enough with this blooded build to one shot level 100 super mutants but the new toy the grand final that you notice already 953 damage which will be amazing especially for full health builds that normally struggle to get any one shot kills with this weapon now it will be way more possible this 10 percent doesn't sound like much but in case of launchers, adding 10% damage is actually a lot and Broadsider is considered to be a launcher. And look at that. Fireworks! That's additional effect. It's almost a perfect roll. On the last, last star it has damage resistance while reloading, which is not bad because you reload it quite often. So 250 to your resistance, it is significant. But I would personally still prefer faster reload. We, we don't have that, but we have better stuff. The fourth effect, I know there is no fourth star, but it is like a four star item because there is fourth legendary effect, is worth it. They both modify exactly the same. I will show you the difference now. How do they perform? My god, versus this new weapon that we are getting that everyone will be able to get from a new boss. It's Hydra chance, so everyone will be able to get it. Oh, the question will be probably, is it trainable? Can you trade it? So let's try to drop it. If I try to drop it, I will want to drop a favorite item. And if I choose drop the item, it will be dropped. And it is in here, which means it is tradable. It wasn't destroyed. It was dropped. This item is tradable, so it's even easier to obtain it. Grind final. Okay, let's start from my and then we swap. Maybe let's start in daily op. And the reason I'm starting in daily op is because I just noticed I am low on ammo. And daily op is the way to fix that issue. Like Broadsider, this is a weapon you use to earn ammo points. So look at that. A couple shots. And I will not be low on ammo anymore. I, I will not be completing this daily op. I just want some ammo and show you. So now let's swap to the grand finale. Look at difference. <laughs> Look at those firework effects. This is such hilarious. I love it. Of course, firework effect is boosted by Grenadier. And Grenadier is equipped. It's just built like that if you want to see it. That's what I have currently equipped. And I have my ammo, so let's go check on Super Mutants. And now let's see the classic Broadsider first. Test on level 100 Super Mutant. It is one shot kill. It is super powerful. Test with the Grand Finale, the same Super Mutant. One shot kill with more damage and more fireworks, so... Now to answer the important question, how it will change if I heal? Of course I will lose damage. If I would go full health, let me show you the di difference. I just need a bunch of radaways and apply some stims. Now I am a full health. I will use the regular broadsider. Damage by aiming bonus and you can see I'm short. I will kill a couple of them to make sure adrenaline is fully stuck. Adrenaline is probably fully stuck at this point. Okay, let's do one more. Did I fire twice? He died. I think I fired twice. That is possible. I don't have taking one for the team equipped, so that's not it. 
Okay, Dogo dies in one shot. Dogo dies for sure in one shot. Now the Super Mutant. Super Mutant level 100. Oh, he did die. I don't know how that happened. Let me double check. Yeah, I don't have taking one for the team. So they suddenly die now. Oh, he didn't. Okay, so it's a little bit of a lottery with regular broadsider. We, if I get the one-shot kill or I don't get a one-shot kill. Now, with the firework power grand finale. Okay, that's one-shot kill. Let's do at least 10 to make sure. And uh, let's make sure my health is high. Again, one shot kill. One. Oh, that wasn't. Maybe I didn't hold the aim button long enough. That can be the problem. Like, to get the aim bonus, you actually need to hold it for a little bit, like half a second or so. Okay, killing. Killing. Firework powered. That's a kill. Oh, he survived, so they can still slightly survive. There's like a little tiny bit damage sometimes missing with both weapons, but you were able to see that with regular weapon that was a little bit more missing. So you are just way more likely to get one shot kills with grand final on about full health build, or you just need to be slightly under 100% health with this new weapon to achieve it. Which is not bad. I'm really happy with this new weapon. That will be my toys of choice. The new Grand Finale. Yeah, he survived. You can see quite a bit of half left. And he too. So now let's try Grand Finale. Finish those guys off. And this guy now. I hit him. Oh, he survived too. Yeah, it's hard to exactly explain why sometimes they are able to survive, but it's only when I'm at full health. I need to frequently heal to even fail to kill them. You moved. That's how this one survived. He moved. But let me know what you think about this weapon. I'm so happy we are getting it. This firework effect is so hilarious and everyone can see it. So there is a bunch of people firing from the grand finale. The fireworks are basically everywhere. So this weapon is just so good now. It's just so good. Not only kills everything, not only gives you free ammo point, but on top of everything, special effects. Sometimes a little bit blinding if you if it blow up really close to yourself. But definitely worth it. <laughs> this effect is worth it. Let me know what you think about this new toy. The Grand Final. I love it. I'm in love with this weapon. That's my favorite. There is more new weapons coming. But this one is certainly my favorite. So... If you want me to showcase you other weapons too later, I can do that or I will just wait and showcase them all when they will go live. But this one I need to show you now. It's my new favorite weapon. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.